A long time ago, when I first really got on the Internet, one of the things that really brought me pleasure was the Internet debate, was the idea of going to a group of people with opposing, <coughs> with opposing or undecided viewpoints and bringing my views to them and having a discussion about our differences and our similarities and attempting to reach a common ground or bring one or the other into the other's fold to change people's viewpoints, to educate. But, unfortunately, the sad truth of the matter has become that for the most part, not to say all the time, but for the most part, we now have our camps set up, well-defined, and there's really no actual discussion between them anymore. Sure, you have a lot of angry ranting, you have a lot of yelling, you have a lot of shit-talking, but you don't have a honest discussion. No discourse is occurring. Okay, atheist versus theist, right? Long-running debate since before the internet, but especially active since the internet. What has it become now? Nuh-uh, I'm right. No, you're stupid. Nuh-uh, no, you're stupid. And, well, we're right because of X. Well, no, no, we're right because of X. And nobody's actually saying, okay, well, I see that you believe this, and I believe this. What I believe is based on this, and what you believe is based on that. What common grounds do we have, and what can I do to bring you to my side of thinking, or at least expand your thinking? The, the objective has become, pretty much for every group, Feminists versus men's rights activists, atheists versus, you know, theists, anybody, really, racist versus anti-racist, whatever, is I'm right, you're wrong. It's not about changing viewpoints. It's not about reaching the other side and having a beneficial discussion to everybody's gain. It's about winning and losing. This is no longer a real-world debate. It has become a high school debate club game. Everybody's interested in scoring points. Everybody's interested in winning. I have to prove them wrong. I have to show them that I'm right. It's not about, wait, okay, they brought up a really good point. Maybe I should question what I'm saying. That never seems to happen. It's always, okay, so you brought up this point. Well, nuh-uh. And then, you know, one side's going, rabble, rabble, rabble. The other side's rabbling back even louder, back and forth, back and forth, and no one's listening. Nobody's actually hearing the other side honestly and without bias, which is, of course, the actual beginning to a rational discussion, is to listen to the other side without bias and without rancor and say, these are their points, this is why they believe this, I need to evaluate this. No, no, it's, okay, so they believe this thing that I don't. They must be wrong going on. <laughs> There's no questioning. There's no introspection. All there is, is the game. The politics of it, if you will. And it, it's really, honestly, kind of disgusted me to see it. I was once a part of the atheist crusade, if you want to put it in such a grandiose term, where I was trying to convince the theists of our side. But when I was doing it, it wasn't really about I'm right and you're wrong, or you're right and I'm wrong, or there's a common ground involved. It... it was about reaching a point of understanding and then working with the other side to reach a common ground that we could work with. Then, okay, you believe in God, I don't. Where do we fall because of this? Okay, you say these things, I say these things. Let's compare them. Let's analyze our points and see where we are. Okay, so you have a really good point. Maybe I should back up on this one point. You're right there, fine but I'm right here. There's none of that anymore. Do you really see that going on? I don't. And I've lost most of my hope, if you will, for the internet debate. Of course, I'm going to keep making my videos. I'm going to keep putting out my points of view, because at that point, I'm not debating you. I'm putting forth my points for you to digest and use as you see fit. But when it comes down to the internet debate, i found that it's really, on every side, just self-aggrandizement, self-fulfillment, where people are looking for the echo chambers of everybody else saying, oh no, you believe exactly what we believe? We're all right together. Oh, those other guys over there? They're a bunch of fuckers, right? Because they don't believe what we believe. And everybody's got their camps, like I said before. And nobody really wants to leave their camp or even take the chance that maybe their camp could possibly be wrong on anything. 
And how could you possibly have a healthy debate starting from that point? How could you possibly have a relevant exchange of information when your starting point is, I am absolutely right and you're wrong? There is no healthy discussion, and in fact, there's no discussion at all. There's only, I'm going to beat you over the head with my point until you either listen or walk away. And quite frankly, that's asinine. If you want to bring your point to somebody else, do it in a fashion that works. Do it in a productive way. Don't just sit there and say, I'm right and you're wrong, unless you're talking about like 2 plus 2 equals 4. If the other guy says, no, 2 plus 2 is 5, you have grounds to say, quite simply, you're wrong. End of discussion. Other than that, there is room for error. There are gray areas. There is room for improvement and change. And if you fail to see that, you're part of the problem. You might believe what you're saying is right. Fine. I'm not saying you have to automatically doubt everything you say or that you have to concede that everybody else could be just as right as you. What I'm saying, though, is that if you feel infallible in your point, don't debate because you're not there for a debate. Just something to think about.